Hey, what's up guys? Oopsie daisy. I made a mistake. <laughs> but I'm man enough to admit when I make mistakes and that's the whole process of being here on YouTube and learning from each other. So what am I talking about? If you happen to see my last video before this one posted on the Eisenhowers, um, the 71 to 76 um, Ike dollar coins I was talking about, they were 40% silver and uh, it was misinformation. Um, I was under the impression that all uh, of the minted uh, Eisenhower dollar coins from 71 to 76 were 40% silver, when in fact they're not. Um, some of them were made for uh, collectors that happen to get in circulation, uh, but those were only minted in San Francisco, so they're going to bear the little S mint mark on them. Uh, out of the ones that I showed here, uh, most of them are sterile. They have no markings whatsoever. And four of them that are outside the bag here all have the little D marking on them, not an S. So I'm going to briefly show you that. This way, if you happen to get one of these, you might want to look at it. If you do have an S, it does have silver content, but it's right underneath the neck. And guess what? Even though I got this awesome, awesome camera, it might be a little hard to see. So, remember this thing? <laughs> Let's come in nice and close. So there it is, a little tiny capital D. So it is not the S we're looking for, which means these have no silver value. So the, the bad news is that I didn't make any money. The good news is I didn't lose a penny, <laughs> which was great. Uh, I still have my original 34 bucks I invested in it. So anyway, I just wanted to update the video here. I did delete the first video because the information was wrong. Didn't want to leave it up there. Uh, thank you very much to the few people who uh, who corrected me and knew the uh, all the specifics and details on these coins. Really appreciate it. Uh, that's what this whole experience is about, is learning from each other. And like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm man enough to admit when I'm wrong, and I was absolutely wrong. So, uh, oops, my bad, <laughs> but that's okay. I uh, just want to do this update video for you guys and show you that. So if you do happen to come across these Eisenhower dollar coins, check them. If they have the little tiny S in there, it still does contain silver, which is pretty cool, although I don't have an example to show you here. But when I go to my bank, I'll still look through them, but this way, now I'll actually, unless there's a bunch of them, if there's a few, I'll actually just look at them, you know, while I'm there. And if they don't bear the little S marking... Um, for the San Francisco minting, then uh, I just will leave them there. But anyway, on a separate note, picked this up today. And this is a 1935 quarter. I paid five bucks for it. And I'm going to do a brief video uh, showing the store I got it from. It's actually a store that sells jewelry and guns. So, interesting. But anyway, this is a pretty neat little quarter. The reason I bought it is not because I'm into coins, but again, the silver content. And now this was marked five dollars, but I know that it's worth a little more than six uh, in silver content, so I figured I'd pick it up. But anyway, I'll have a separate little video on that, me walking around the store and uh, just showing you what they have to offer. But anyway, I apologize to anyone who saw the video and maybe went and grabbed theirs and thought they had, you know, some silver, but they don't. You know, like I said, my bad. But it's a learning experience, and uh, I'm glad you guys corrected me, the ones who did. So thank you very much for that. And thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it and hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, guys.